This is a good one. Number two, Duke. Number four, Bobby Orr, Ohio State. Early in the first half. Shannon Scott in transition. Boy, Deshaun Thomas looks like an NBA perimeter jump shooter. Coach K not happy. Buckeyes off to a good start. 16 to 11. Just over five to go. Duke down by six. Mason Plumley. Careless with that soft pass to the top of the key. Up and in. Shannon Scott gives the Buckeyes an eight-point lead. Their biggest lead of the night was 10. Plumley battling down low using those deltoids. Finally, Quinn Cook lays it in. Duke trails by eight. Second half now. Duke is still down by eight. Interior toughness the other way. Plumley from Cook. Golly, Snikey's at the top 10 nominee. We could see that one at the end of the show. Duke now down by six. Aaron Kraft, tough night for Kraft. Three of 15 shooting. The turnover there. The other way, Plumley again. Good ups. Down by six. Again. Cook high off the glass with the left hand. That'd give my left arm to be ambidextrous. Top of the square, four point game. Duke, eight minutes to go. Seth Curry. Oh, can't handle it. A five point lead, 8.09 to go. You think the Buckeyes should be able to manage this one? Look at that left ankle roll. He would return to the game, though, later. Rashid Suleiman. He was the difference in the second half. Rock of the suburbs, just like Ben Folds 5 does. Cameron Crazies, loving it. Buckeye shot just 34% in this game, 29% from threes. Duke better. Again, Ryan Kelly, and Duke has a three-point lead with five and a half to go. Four to go, Duke by two. Cook, now oh, offensive rebound, Plumley. Ohio State's interior defense is terrible down the stretch. Those were Plumley's parents. And then, exclamation point, Rashid Suleiman. And Duke is a winner, and they remain undefeated, 7-0 as they win 73 to 68 right here on ESPN. So on the young season, three different teams in the top five of the polls have lost. All of them have fallen at the hands of the Dukies. Well, to start, they are off with this schedule. Blue Devils have won seven of the last eight non-conference games against top five teams. The only loss was to Ohio State last season, a loss that was avenged tonight.